Hi Tubers and welcome back. Today's project is the Saturn View, a 2006 with a bad alternator. I'll be changing the alternator on this and the alternator on this engine is located down under here. To get to the alternator, first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. And when you disconnect the battery, you want to take the ground cable off first, then the positive, and this air filter has to come off. We have to remove the air filter housing and the air filter case to get to that alternator. Now, I'm not going to film this as I'm taking it off, but rather I'm going to do it in sections. So once I get this off, I'll show you what's next. First thing to do is to take this hose off the intake on the air cleaner. You get that out. Take the air filter out. And now, here's where it starts getting interesting. On the side over here, you have this sensor that has to come out. Once you get the sensor out, you have this bolt in the back of the housing. That's a 10 millimeter. Get this bolt out. And then you have to pry this out. You have these two rubber nipples. Get this out of the way. These two rubber nipples are just plugged into here. I'm not sure if you can see this. I can't see the camera. This gets pulled back and then out. Now, we get to the alternator. First thing yet, the first thing I'm going to have to do is pull back on this tension pulley to get the belt off. Now my next step will be to release the tension on this tension pulley by pulling it back, getting the belt off. Now to get this alternator out, this is the first view that I worked on, I'm going to have to get the bolt out of this motor mount get under the engine and jack up the engine a little bit. This tension pulley has to be held up and this engine has to be propped up somewhat. And also to get this, you can see the tight fit in here, to get this alternator out we have to bring it up somewhat. And I may have to take the cover off this timing belt housing for a little extra space. I'm going to take as little off as possible to get to that alternator. Okay, just showing you what we have over here. They have a tool to do this, which I don't have on hand. So I'm using a 14 millimeter wrench on the bolt that's holding that pulley on. And using another wrench against it for leverage to pull it back. You see that moving? That gives me enough leverage to get that belt out. Now, usually, they'll have a way to hold that tension pulley back and I can't find it. Usually there'll be some kind of slot or something where you can stick a pin in to hold it back because that pulley is going to have to be held back again to get to that nut that's holding the uh, alternator in. And the nut I'm talking about Now that I'm talking about that's holding that alternator on, you can see it, get this into view. This pulley has to be pulled back so you can get to this bolt over here. So I have to find a way after I get this belt off to hold this pulley back so I can get this bolt out. Then the next bolt that's holding it on, it's right under here. I'm touching it with the screwdriver. And this one up here, I believe I'm going to have to take this out because it's holding the wires that are connected to the back of the alternator. 
and you can't get to those wires you can't get to those wires from what I can see without pulling the alternator out so the bracket will have to come off to get to the wires I have to say I missed the old alternators that were right on top two bolts ten minutes later you were in and out I may not have to jack this engine up I'm not sure it doesn't look like I have wiggle room over here but I won't know until I get this out this looks like it's going to be as much fun and even more than what I thought so I'm going to leave this belt on right now because I can move the car around and, and I'm going to have to put it into a spot that's a little more level than where I'm at I'm going to go pick up the alternator and then I'll pull this one out once I get it to where I want it and we'll take it from there all right guys it's day three I went to the uh, auto parts store the other day to get the alternator they didn't have it in stock what I did was take the uh, belt I picked up a belt and I was just giving it a shot to see if maybe the belt was slipping and I get lucky that way but I put the belt on and the light came on and I checked and it wasn't uh, given the full charge but I just want to point this out I was able to loosen this belt tensioner with the two wrenches using a, a wrench on the on the bolt and using this wrench, wrench for leverage but while I was there picking up the belt I picked this up because what I'm going to try and do is to get this alternator out without lifting the engine up I'm not recommending you do it this way but this is what I've done that belt tensioner I have it I release the pressure on it and I'm using this tool this is one of the least tools from the, uh, um, where was it, Advance Auto. You have to leave a $59 deposit, but they refund it when you bring it back. And what I did, I pulled back on the belt tensioner, and I have it tied to the motor mount. Now, this bolt up here requires a 12 millimeter socket, and the one on the bottom requires a 14 millimeter socket. The space in here is kind of tight, and I'm using this flex ratchet to get it out. And I had to use a cheetah bar on it because it was kind of tight. You may be able to get in there if you don't have one of these. If you have a short extension, a long extension won't work because there's not enough room. Again, I don't know if I'm going to have to raise this engine. I think I'll have to because it looks kind of tight, unless I can remove this panel. But we'll see. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting these bolts out. Then I'll take this bolt out on top. That looks like a 10 millimeter. That's holding in the wire, the wire bracket to the um, alternator. Once I have this done, I'll be able to see if I can get that alternator out. It's 20 degrees outside today, and it's not a comfortable day to work. Although it's not raining or snowing. Uh, just a point: if you're going to buy this alternator, AutoZone has a $10 core charge and twenty dollars off on an order of a hundred dollars or more advanced auto has a twenty five percent coupon but has a seventy five dollar core charge the reason i'm pointing that out is that if i knew i was going to take this long to get to this i would have ordered it online and if you want to keep the original core just in case the new one doesn't work there's a lot of uh, chatter online about the replacement alternators not working you have the original alternator that you can have rebuilt with the original parts in there. Just pointing that out, AutoZone has a $10 core charge, Advanced Auto $75. And uh, I, missed the, I missed the discounts because I had to pick it up in the store. As I mentioned, if I knew it was going to take this long, I would have had to mail it to me. I wouldn't know how to travel there. And I would have either got $20 off or 25% off. Well, once I get this apart, I'll be back. Oh guys, I just want to point it out. There's a bracket that holds this alternator on and the wire to it. I was taking the nut off. I was taking the bolt out up here, but there's also one down here. I can't see if the camera's catching this or not. So I'm going to pull that bolt out and see if I can get this out without having to jack this engine up. If I have to jack this engine up, I have to pull out the bolt on this 
motor mount here but we'll see all right guys I'm back between the temperature the camera keep going out uh, the battery keeps uh, discharging I don't know if it's because of the cold but it's dropping to 20 degrees again it's getting close to 4 o'clock I don't know how much more this I'm gonna be able to do tonight and I apologize again about the shakiness of this camera I have to freehand this I don't have time for a tripod I have to get this done I'm stuck without a car my other vehicles down too. that's another repair for a different day but to get that alternator out I had to remove this timing belt plate and there's four bolts they're 10 millimeters they're all they were easy to get rid of just had to pull it to the side and it was able to wiggle that alternator out now I just want to point out a few quick things try to keep some light on here there's not much wiggle room in here at all and these rubber boots I don't know if you can see this one down here and the one that goes on the, the main and the one that goes on the top of the alternator just gets held down with a nut these were very difficult to get off this is probably the original alternator this is a 2006 this car it's now 2018 so it was on for 12 years I had a hard time getting it off you don't want to rip it I used was this Post clamp. I was able to get under the rubber and just pry it. Couldn't get a pick under there. Now some of these cars, depending on the engine, you might not have to jack the engine up. You might not have to take this plate off. You might be able to jack it up a little higher and still not have to take the plate off. I'm not sure. This is the first view that I worked on and I gotta be honest with you. I don't want to look at this thing again. I hope this alternator they sold me is right because I don't want to be doing this again. Um, I'm going to try and install this alternator tonight. My little guy's getting off the bus. I have to go get him. It's going to get dark out here soon, and it is cold. Not only is it hard on your hands, but the wires, the belt, everything stiffens up with the uh, cold. Tomorrow's supposed to sleet and snow. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get this done. But I did do down here on the bracket for the alternator that holds it on. Get in here. Right in here. I couldn't get that alternator out. You can see this aluminum the corrosion that's on it. Well, I cleaned it up with a little sandpaper and put a little uh, Vaseline on it. Whatever you have, Vaseline, some grease, just a little bit to help it slide. Any advantage that you can get. There you go. Any advantage that you could give yourself. This is what I'm talking about, right down here on the other side of this. That alternator has to slip in there. I thought there was another bolt in there. That's how tight it was. So, I have to go to the bus stop, I'm going to come back and try to get this in, and if not, I just have to button everything up and uh, hope for better weather tomorrow. Until then, stay safe, stay dry. Hello guys, it's the twilight. I'm still outside, and it's cold. I managed to get that alternator in. A couple things I want to point out. Uh, you have this bolt on the bottom, these two bolts on top. When you put in this alternator back in, there's this bracket behind here. Make sure you put that in because this alternator won't go in without that bracket. The bracket gets bolted to the block and the alternator gets bolted to the bracket and this piece over here gets bolted down to hold these wires. I had to take the uh, timing belt cover off can inspect this belt a little bit it's get it's getting close to where this belt should be changed uh, maintenance 100,000 miles they say to change the water pump and the uh, belt that's a whole other job I believe this whole engine has to come out to do that you want to make sure again there's the shakiness because I'm holding this by hand there's the boot oh, I can't even see it here Trying to get it. There's the boot that gets connected to the uh, alternator. Connect that before you try to get the alternator in. And the other wire in the back, it's easier to connect that after the alternator's in. It's a tight fit over here between the engine block and the radiator, which you can get your hand in. And it gives you a little more wiggle room leaving that off. Now, what I have to get done, what I have to do next is to get the uh, belt back on. I have to drop the engine and get that uh, bolt back into the engine mount uh, let's 
getting too cold to do anything out here. All right. I have to get the bolt back in to the engine mount. And I noticed back here, you can't see, there's no way for me to film it. When that bolt goes through, there's a, like a, um, it's not a nut, but the piece that it goes into slides back and forth. So keep that in mind when you're trying to put the bolt in and you can't get it through all the way. If that moved, you're going to have to wiggle it around to get it in. And another thing, when I took this off the air cleaner, I just want to mention it now, I end up pulling that whole rubber gasket out of the air cleaner. You don't have to. This snaps in and out very easy. When I first looked at it, it looked like one piece. You know, when they say haste makes waste, well, that took me a while to get it out, and I took it out for nothing. This just snaps right in and out, easy to get in and out. You want to make sure you plug this back in when you're done. So I'm going to button this up. I'm going to try and get this belt on before I go in. I'm not going to get it all together tonight. Uh, tomorrow it's supposed to hail and uh, it's supposed to rain, hail, whatever. But what has to be done left is just the air. If I get this all tonight, tomorrow it's just the air filter and making sure I have everything uh, snugged up. And we'll go. I just don't want to take a chance to start anything tonight. It's dark, it's cold. And when you're in a hurry, that's where you're making mistakes. And as far as the torques on these bolts, I don't know what they are. I didn't have a manual to look them up. I made it snug and then some. Remember, you're bolting into an aluminum block when you're bolting it in. For now, guys, I'm saying good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, good news. It's been a couple of days now, and I drove this car around for about 60 to almost 70 miles, and none of the lights are on, the alternator's charging, everything's working fine. So guys, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful or entertaining, let me know by posting your comments down below, giving it a like. Be sure to share it with someone else who might find it useful, and until next time, stay warm and stay safe.